Today I'm listening to Laura Fabian sing Je T'aime from her 2001 Live in Paris performance. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. If improving your voice in 2021 is one of your goals, I hope you'll get my free Five Days to a More Powerful Voice e-course. It's five voice lessons that come straight to your inbox and you can get all the details in the description box below. Now let's get started. So I am finally getting to your request to listen to this very emotional performance. That's what it says in the title. It's an emotional performance of Laura Fabian's Je T'aime from her 2001 concert live in Paris. Many of you have said that I really must watch this one because it is a really special moment between Laura and the audience. Evidently she was going through a really hard time in her life. I'm going to let you guys put together the puzzle pieces of the story in the comments below. But I am really looking forward to listening to Lara again. One of you pointed out last week as I had another floor video, do you realize you've had floor on 27 times? I think it's time to listen to Lara again. I agree with you, so let's dig in. I have chills already. That is so incredible. How sweet that her fans could tell what, the, what was up next just from the intro. And you could see the shock on her face as they just took over. I loved how her accompanist just started playing with them. That was just such a special sweet moment. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm really impressed at Lara's flexibility in this moment because as a singer of her caliber, you know, you, I saw the shock on her face when this first happened and it really could be one of those situations where someone could have this diva kind of attitude and just say, no, this is not happening. But I love how she just allowed it and uh, welcomes it almost. It's, it's just really touching. It really gives me insight into her as a person and certainly as a performer that she's welcoming that. I think it's really special. <laughs> The crowd sounds great. <laughs> it's very unusual to get a group that large to sing that well. I'm really impressed by them. They're doing such a great job. And I'm just so touched by how it's impacting Lara. And uh, what it's just so beautiful. It's so incredibly beautiful, this exchange that's happening between her fans and her. But I'm really blown away by how fantastic they sound. It's just lovely.
Another thing that I love about this whole exchange is the way she's singing around them. She has this delicate way about her. I mean, obviously she's a powerhouse too. Her voice can inhabit all these different spaces, but she, in this moment right now, I just feel like she's able to just so beautifully uh, inhabit the moment vocally. I love how she's literally dancing around the chorus of the fans with her voice and the melody line. It's just so well done, so tastefully done, and it just pours out of her. It's not like she's thinking about it. It's just happening because that's what oozes out of her soul. I am so impressed by her, and she's so beautiful when she cries. Oh my goodness. Uh, if only we all could be as beautiful <laughs> when we cry. She's just, she's magnificent. She really is. in this section you could see background vocals behind her because I'm not really hearing anything but the crowd. I love that they chose that as they mix this particular moment. I really am just so mesmerized by the interplay that's happening musically between the pianist, between Lara, between the fans. This is just such a special moment. It really is. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. I'm so grateful that you guys alerted me to its existence because I think this really just embodies who Lara is as a performer, as a human being, and it certainly is so heartwarming to see how well-loved she is. She deserves every bit of it, doesn't she? She's so just massively talented, but also sings with so much heart and soul, and I think that's that's why people relate to her. There's a vulnerability about her. Even when she's not as emotional, she sings with such passion and vulnerability and a rawness that is just very relatable. <laughs> Oh 
my goodness, wow. 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 Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. <laughs> oh my word. That was so beautiful. Oh, I held on till the very end, <laughs> but it got me in the end. Okay. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. That was absolutely so stunning. I'm still really rocked by it. that moved me so much about this piece of music is that the audience is singing the lyrics over Lara. They're singing it to her and she's singing it to them. There's something so incredibly moving and beautiful about this relationship between the artist and their audience. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. <laughs> blown away by how good this audience sounds. They are so in tune. They are so full of passion. They're musically in the right place. It's together. It just makes my heart happy to hear them singing so beautifully and then to see how it is rocking Lara's world at the same time. I have no words. <laughs> Something that hits me as I'm watching this is how much I appreciate all of you. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> I just so appreciate the, the love I get back from you guys in the comments and in um, during previews of uh, the videos. I just love interacting with you. I do this because of you, for sure. And so it, this just reminds me of that and I just want to say thank you for it. <laughs> The comments I've disliked the most over the years, before I even did YouTube, is those who can't teach. Meaning to say that, you know, because you can't sing, you teach instead. And some of the comments I've gotten certainly over the months I've been doing this channel, you know, things like, you're just jealous <laughs> of whoever I'm watching when I'm giving some 
pointers or hints on how you can sing better. And I have to say, you know, it was hard for me to start this because who am I to talk about this incredible singer when I haven't had this experience myself? I just so appreciate the fact that you guys watch and you comment. It, it just means so much to me. It really does. Because yes, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to um, be a Lara Fabian. That was my original intention, certainly, when I set out to, um, to sing. I wanted to do it professionally and I wanted to go as big as I possibly could. But that wasn't my life path. And I realize now what my purpose truly is and I'm walking it and I just so appreciate that you see me because I think that is really the thing everybody wants to be. Everybody wants to be seen. I just put out a survey of sorts just to see how can I help people more in 2021 with the platform I have and the audience that I've been given. How can I help you more? You why people watch reaction videos, it's been studied, is because people want to feel a connection to emotion. They want to feel that they are less alone. They want to feel uh, an ability to connect with their, their true feelings. I think it's just part of, of wanting to be seen, wanting to have your emotions and your feelings acknowledged. I feel like that's what you guys do for me <laughs> and I hope in some way even though we're very disconnected that this is a way that I can do this for you as well and and that's the thing I think I take away from this video it's this this beautiful exchange of je t'aime I'm saying that to you and this beautiful exchange of you saying je t'aime to me I just appreciate it so so very much that's why I keep showing up that's what I got out of this video, besides the fact that Lara is incandescently beautiful, she sounds amazing, as always, and deserves every bit of love that is heaped upon her. She is just a vision. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Laura Fabian. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on yzo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Thank you once again for the honor of getting to spend time with you. Your time is valuable, and I don't take that lightly. I really do appreciate it. I want you today to keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today because the world is literally waiting. Somebody is praying for you to show up. And remember, you are loved. Je t'aime. Bye guys.